what goes on with y'all's hair? The negative forces, you know, and there's positive forces out there, you know, just to put that out there. But they was giving each other subliminal messages through the cartoons. Like, for example, how come y'all think they call it Looney Tune? Looney Tunes or Looney Tunes? Think about that. I know. But you know, the Looney Tunes, when they used to have cartoons where they would take, you know, either, you know, a certain rabbit like Bugs Bunny and the rabbit hole gets deep and, you know, it's subliminals. You get what I'm saying? Like, for example, you know, they have, you know, one of these cartoon characters in a boiling hot pot. It was like just a little piece of, you know, that individual's hair, throw it in the plot pot and throw like, you know, some leaves in the pot. They was basically showing y'all they were, that they was doing witchcraft and some of y'all didn't see that, you know. Y'all think these cartoons and movies just entertainment, you know, and then they want y'all to think that the news is real, which the news is, I've been telling y'all the news is staged and set up, all right. So, you know, they had card, like so many cartoons I can name that gave out so many subliminals, okay. And like these fictional characters, like for example, Samson. Samson was, um, you unscramble that and see what you get out of that. Just to put that out there. And they was like, you know, you know, his hair gave him strength. It was like, find his weakness. You know, they found his weakness and it was his hair. And they was talking about doing witchcraft. So what goes on with y'all's hair? That's something to think about. What goes on with your hair? You like different beings and strangers touch your hair. And whoever got talent to do hair, they could take on other individuals' energy as well. It works both ways. I'm going to take this video to so many different levels. Trips Awakening, y'all will feel my ancient signals, one within the universe and universes inside of me. Before I really take this video to many levels I respect the talent out there you know especially the talent that can do hair you know because I can do hair you know I do my own hair and some used to say because I used to I used to cut hair and stuff back in the day and do many different things and stuff some used to say uh and I also could do, like, you know, arch eyebrows and stuff like that. You know, I used to arch ladies' eyebrows and stuff like that. They used to come to me and stuff. You know, I got skills. So just to put that out there, you know, I got I got many skills. <laughs> I got so many skills out there. So when it comes to that, you know, I used to cut hair. Some used to say, hey, you should get your license. And I was like, you know, I think that's a bunch of mess that you got to get licensed to cut hair, you know. But, you know, others do that, you know, because basically the negative forces and corporations want to keep up with certain things, you know. They don't want you to rise, you know, and plus they do this tax mess, by the way, and I think that tax, you know, that's nothing but controlling people's frequency, you know, because when it comes to tax, they use that in other worlds and on, on a spiritual level, okay, just to put that out there, you know, um, because they don't use this paper money with the spell attached to it, you know, your earthlings use it, now, you know, they got you on the plastic, you know, card with the chip but they use something totally different they own another system all right just to put that out there so you know i did a video talking about um what do they actually really do with your trash you know i've done so many videos just to put that out there 
I was like, what do they actually really do with your trash? And I did it on a spiritual level. And, you know, I, I give you all the short version. I was like, they can do certain things with your fluids, you know, um, your, your body fluids, your hair, and, you know, do certain things straight in the sewer. You get what I'm saying? So they can do certain things. You know, like, I know back in the day, and I talked about this on the video, like, some, like, maybe a year ago or something like that, or a couple of years ago. Like I said, I've done so many videos. And I was talking about, like, how back in the day they used to burn trash and stuff. And, you know, now it's illegal. You can't do that in this, you know, over here anyway. That's what they say, illegal. But anyway, um, when it come, come to that, like, you know, I was talking to, like, one of my loved ones today, and we was talking about, you remember how your grandmother used to burn hair and stuff, and we was, like, getting deep into that. I was like, you know, I, we was talking about how we remember that, and there was a reason why they did that, you know, and shout out to the grandmothers that did that you know you know they was on you know a spiritual level they knew what was they knew what was i mean they knew what was going on with that <laughs> they you know and i know <laughs> you know so um you know we used to take trash and burn trash you know now you can't do it so now they can do certain things with your hair your fluids and all of that so what do y'all think you know what do y'all think that goes on in these barbershops and salons. They put out certain beings out there to control your frequency and put spells on you. You know, um, for example, in the military, what do they do? They cut people's hair and they can do certain things, wink, wink. Y'all get what I'm saying? I ain't going really to get deep into that. Something to think about. But y'all feeling what I'm saying. But you know, then y'all wonder how come when they come back from the military, they be on some totally different stuff. It's bad enough they already chipped. But, you know, they do certain things. You know, they, they read their blood. You know, their blood carries a lot of codes a lot, I mean that's with y'all earthlings your blood carry codes and they can see certain things and tap into certain things and use your blood for a lot of things like for these machines and other worlds and your body parts are generations so you know they can do certain things with that alright just to put that out there so um, certain salons and barbershops you know, uh, like I said, they hire somebody and they do rich, witchcraft. So you just basically got to be careful. And then your hair mixing with other hair and that can attach to it. There are so many levels. I'm not going to get into that, but that's another video. I could, could break it down when it comes to how they can do certain things. But, you know, I just want y'all to think of on certain things because I'm not going to, you know, put all of that out there but i know about that just to put that out there they can do certain things with your hair i know that so you got to be careful especially like these salons out there you know when it comes to your nails and stuff you know they could do certain things like some of y'all get addicted you know and then you got this this programming stuff you know these celebrities you know with the flashes in their eyes programming y'all y'all don't see that but i see certain things you know got y'all going back and you keep going back some of y'all will go you know uh you know break your soul just to keep your hair and stuff done some rather get their hair and stuff done and don't take care of their star seeds their star seeds hair because i'm sure y'all done seen some of them their child's hair look a mess and they got their self looking sharp, you know, because some of them are under a spell, you know, and so you just, when it comes to that, you know, I can't tell y'all what to do, but, you know, I know, 
when I when I cut my hair or whatever, I just usually, you know, flush it, burn it, flush it. <laughs> I mean, y'all can do it however y'all want to do it. You know, I'm not going to tell y'all what to do because that's just not me. It's how whatever works for y'all. So, you know, um, they can do so many things with your fluids and stuff. And basically it carries on to other worlds. You know, with, with your DNA. Your DNA is special, y'all. Your blood is special. That's your spirit. And certain cells and so many things that I could really get into, you know. I could really get in, into that. And I want to say this. You know, they like I said, these uh, fictional characters and stuff in the book and stuff, they be giving each other subliminal message. Like, for example... Um, Oh, what was what's this? Uh, and this they they make by about to make a movie out of this. Uh, Samson, you know how um, his hair, you know, gave him strength, and they you know that and y'all know the story, but check this out. Change that around, Samson. You know. Reverse it or whatever, and you get Mason out of it. <laughs> Y'all feel what I'm saying? So, in other words, I decode a lot of things, too. Some of y'all are under a spell. Wherever you go, it could be in your house. Like I said, I did a video talking about the TV. It could be a house. It could be anywhere. It could be negative or positive. You just got to learn how to balance it. Because some of y'all can't break it because you you in too deep, you know. And that was the reason why, you know, like when it comes to Samson, you know, they was like, find, you know, his weakness and stuff like that. And, of course, they send a woman to do it. But it's it's deeper than that. I can really get deep into that. So just just be careful with your fluids and stuff, you know. Some some of y'all just like, oh, well, I cut my hair or, or or I, you know, do this and that, drop fluids and stuff like that. Just be careful, you know, how you do certain things. Get in tune and you know what to do. You know, I could tell y'all what to do, but you got to learn on your own because, like I said so many times, it might not work for some of y'all. Then again, it, it could, then it might not. So, um... When it comes to the hair, because some, you know, barbers and corporations and stuff, they are in beauty salons. When they do your hair, they touch your hair. And some of your barbers and whoever have talent that does hair, you got to be careful because you could pick up on that negative energy as well. You know, you just got to learn how to block it. It ain't just them doing it because some can come into the salon with negative energy and you touching many other different beings hair and you could latch on to that energy and go back and be on some other stuff you know so you just gotta be careful out there you know um you know like massage therapists you know um they they you know get massages and stuff and they got to be careful as well, too, because they could take on other energies. They come back, like, on some other stuff, you know. And I have loved ones that does, you know, that, you know, massage therapists and work in the beauty salon and cut hairs and, and stuff like that. Like I said, I have talent as well, but I don't have license. See, they license to do that. And, you know, like I said, I think that's messed up that people like that that have talent should be able to do whatever they want to at home and collect you know, you know, their energy like line, which that's from the trees, you know, in order to feed, you know, their loved ones or feed their self. You know, that's just how I feel. But, of course, you know, these negative forces want to control certain things and stuff. And it's time to, well, there ain't no such thing as time. My apologies, y'all. You got to get it together and you know, knock down certain things, block out certain things. 
you really, you know, um, some should be able to do their hair. Some can't, but you know, if you can do hair, it's best to do your own hair. <laughs> you know, like if some share that gift and do that, do your hair and do miracles with hair, because sometimes the way you cut somebody's hair, do somebody's hair, it can make their, you know, make their make their soul happy you get what i'm saying it, it can make their soul happy and you know you can share your talents like this is like art you know and i'm good at that as i'm good at art <laughs> I'm, I'm uh i like i said i got so many talents but you know um i just i just had to share that with y'all so and that's and I feel this on a spiritual level with all of this stuff that's, you know, with the moons and all of these the school shootings that everybody keeps talking about. It's nothing, oh, the stage is set up. I mean, yes, some victims will get hurt because, like I said before, there's a difference between a hoax and staged. Certain things can get staged. Certain individuals out there. You know, they play their part and certain victims get hurt. They do certain rituals. You know, you got these, you know, when you got certain ones, I, I stay away from certain videos. Like, I could have really broke that down. But a lot of people, like, every time they hear a story, they jump on it just like the media, you know, just to try to get views and stuff like that. See, I'm different. I talk about a lot of things on so many different levels and stuff to make you think. And I connect with y'all. You know, I, I'm totally different than these fake pretenders out here or these Muppets. You know, I have my own style. You know, you know, I could talk about like so many other things out there. Certain things I do talk about and there's a reason why I talk about certain things, especially if I already talked about it in the past. And, you know, like I said, the past and the future is merged together. But if it's something from the past, and I hear something, I was like, hey, I told y'all, you know, this and that was going to happen. You know, I, I let y'all know, you know, I'd be like, oh, you can check out my video. I spoke on that, you know, just to put that out there. So um, I know I was a little bit all over the place, but I should be all over the place. Do y'all feel my signals? What? Did somebody say something?